Good morning, Steven Zonar here with Remax West Zonar Associates. Happy Monday morning. A quick update on the market. Current inventory, 7,900 uh, units all across the GTA in Toronto. And this number is holding steady is because every agent's holding back offers on every property that they have listed. So it's basically having uh, a house is on the market longer than what they should be. But in reality, these things will be get uh, eaten up real quickly. And this is what's happening because every offer uh, presentation that we're going into, it doesn't matter if it's in the GTA or in Toronto, we're having something. Thing. or even in the 705 by that matter we're having between three and sometimes up to 25 offers on, on particular properties so uh, quite crazy right now um, uh, just uh, just a caveat uh, I just followed up with one of with my uh, mortgage broker just regarding like the inside information of what's happening and what he's seen so uh, currently right now appraisals are coming in short already so we're in January um, and these are properties that were closing from 2020 into 21 and their appraisals are coming in short uh, as of now. So uh, let's say on a $1.9 million property, a hundred to $200,000 being short appraisal is not um, out, of the nor out of the ordinary currently right now. So uh, what I'm only worried about now is that people buying in January at these overinflated prices that are gonna close into March, April, June, July that are co currently closing. Like this is gonna be a huge issue. So regarding uh, as a buyer, what you should be doing is number Number one, always look at the sales comps of what of the current area is. So basically, if something's selling for one three, put some appreciation on it, obviously because the market is in, in an uproar, and, and kind of hedge it that way, and um, and be prepared if the appraisal doesn't come in that you have enough cash to close the property. So that's my only advice to any buyer out there right now. Make sure you look at your sales comps, and then you make a calculated adjustment on the appreciation of the current market, and then always have cash aside if you need to close. Because the worst thing is 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 to buying a property, closing it, the appraisal comes in short, and you have to come in with private uh, or second mortgage private money to bridge that gap that the the, the A banks or the B banks won't close. So uh, just a little. Uh, caveat there. Uh, talking about just the overall market right now, we're looking at stocks right now. Um, just just kind of get an idea of, just to see what the activity is. And if you kind of see this huge uproar, I've never seen something of like, you know, things have doubled and tripled in value in, within one year. Um, and it's not even a market where we can say that there's there's economic growth or anything to it. It's just basically a pandemic. So so it looks like the quantitative quantitative easing that the government's put in place is, is uh, you know, pumping this extra money into banks and and the banks are obviously reinvesting the money and it's creating this huge uproar in um, in the in market in general and we're fe uh, feeling that here in, in real estate also um, but the only re the only thing we have to look at too is at some point buyers fatigue will have to kick in even if the bank rates stay low and there's still a lot of optimism in, in the market regarding the, the COVID uh, vaccine uh, ultimately there's gonna be buyers fatigue and usually what we saw in 2017 and this is the only market uh, that we can kind of maybe over overlay it and kind of follow what happened is that by April the buyer fatigue set in prior 10 days prior than to Kathleen's wins uh, announcements of the uh, foreign buyers tax and the market just kind of shut down prior to this announcement and it was just a buyers fatigue set in everyone kind of got what they wanted uh, and everything just sat after inventory just kind of built up. So I'm just wondering now, we're kind of following the market to see when we're gonna see this inventory build up or we start seeing properties that were listed for a uh, bidding war or the first indication is when properties are set up for a bidding war and um, and no one came out for that bidding war and these properties get relisted at a, at a market value price. And uh, that's gonna be the first indication for myself as a professional to kind of see when this buyer fatigue setting in. So currently right now it's it's nowhere near. So um, let's see what happens and let's it. So be safe guys, uh, even when you're buying, make sure you do all all your comps, have all your comps ready and make an educated guess on, on your purchase. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and if you're selling, it's, it's a bloody good time naturally. Don't wait for the spring because the spring uh, might turn the other way. So right now, currently markets on an uproar. If you want to sell for top dollar, you're cashing out of the market. Definitely an amazing time to do that. Uh, and that's it guys. If you have any questions, always reach out. Thanks. Bye-bye.